so tonight join me at the Stourport Manor Hotel this is actually a former Hallmark Hotel so let's go and have a look join you when I've checked in so I just thought I'd have a look around the grounds so it's just about going dark so I thought I'd show you before it does there's a lot of weddings happening here so it's got really nice grounds so I believe in December it was changed from Hallmark to something to what it is now which is just an independent it's like they're building something over there but this is actually the old house if you like right let's go in and have a look Function rooms there now. The bar area. And then this is your restaurant area. Manor Fusion Cuisine, apparently. Not sure what that is. Right, let's turn in the room 54. These uh, carpets can do with a bit of a hoover, though. There's a few bits on the floor, though. So 57 is what I mean. Right, so I've just been in, put my bag in, and put my phone charger out. But this is what you get. It's not bad, this. Right then, so, I have actually booked a double room, but they give me a super king size one. So I'm not sure if this is a zip and link, so I'll have to let you know later. But, it's actually a nice design room, this, isn't it? You can tell they've recently redone it. Uh, so, yeah. So far, so good. Right, what do we get? Well, we get a really decent sized desk. There is an actual bag stand, but it's behind the door, so it's just in an awkward place. So tonight, I'm going to be using it there, and I can still put my laptop on, which is great. One thing I have noticed straight away is there's no plug sockets anywhere near the bed, so it's a good job I brought my extension lead. Thankfully, it's on this side of the room, so I have to run it all the way down here. It's not an issue, I, I prefer for that. Uh, on the floor here, we've got a little mini fan, which is good to see. Another thing I've noticed is normally every hotel we stay in, they have to have these locks on, but for some reason, this one's unlocked. And as such, you can open it properly. So, yeah, I think that's a better thing, to be honest. I, I'm sure they're not meant to be like that, though. Looking around, we've got a couple of stains on the curtains. So I'll Built some paint on it with the looks of it, but this is not a bad room. For some reason, as well, I keep putting towels on the bed. I don't know why people do this. Uh, why are they not in the bathroom? All right, what else have we got? We got a hair dryer in there. Decent quality drawers, then. Eh? Put anything else in there? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Perfect. So, over to the kettle now. Well. Cup space in the wrong way around. I don't know, this has been empty for a month. But we've got biscuits and we've got Twining's tea. Brilliant. Even got decaf coffee there. But is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. And yes, yes, it is. Happy days. Yeah, it's clean. Outside of it's not, but inside is. So that's all that matters. We have got a glass table here as well, so there's two seats. I mean, really, do you need that? I think you, if you just got rid of that completely, it'd be better for this room, it'll just make it feel a bit bigger. But that's just a little uh, advice I would, well, but that's just what I would do. Decent TV, maybe do something with that aerial wire though, so it's not hanging down, it'll just look a bit better. Right then, what else have we got? So we've got an ironing board, bag stand there is an iron up here as well and loads of normal hangers so happy days right what else what's the bathroom like well it's tiny 
So I don't know if you can see on the, the photo, you'd have to hover over the toilet to shut the door. But it is a nice, clean, sparkling bathroom. This isn't bad. It's just maybe a bit tight. They gave us complimentary soap. Yeah, whatever that one is, I'm not sure. Geneva Gilday, I've seen that before, it's a cheap one. Right, is there any pressure? Well, first things first, that shower head's a bit manky, and it? it's all black. Ooh. Unfortunately, that is pathetic. So there's no pressure in that whatsoever. And your problem is, if you're any bigger than five foot, you're knackered because you can't have it any higher because the lead's not long enough. Sorry, the holes. So yeah, not a lot of pressure in that. And it's pretty cold as well. Mm, so that needs a dressing. So I've just noticed you've got towels in here as well. So there must have been extra towels on the bed. I mean, really, they should just be on that shelf there. But that's just a little thing. Can see as well, got a bit of a stain on this. Not sure if it picks up on camera. But overall, this is not a bad room. Right then, so let's go and have a look around. So I don't know if you can see it or not with this carpet, but it's really dirty. Definitely needs a hoover all the way along. Dust in all the corners and big bits as well. So I'm on the first floor. Feels like I'm holiday in this place. I wonder if it used to be. So there's actually a pool down here. More the carpet that's not been hoovered, bits all over it. So there's a pool and a gym, but it's not included. You actually have to pay extra, some extra fiver. So well, let's go and have a look. Evidence of some damp there previously. Bodged together, some dodgy looking repair. That oh my god, look at that. That's rough. Wow. But, through this hotel, just dirty carpets everywhere. I don't know if you can see all this state of it. Got some like mouldy carpet there. I can see why it's no longer a hallmark. to that. What's going on there? Oh, they forgot to tile the rest of it. There we go. And then we've got botched up electrics. Are they doing this or what? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. So you've got to check in down here. So I'm just looking around and found an open door. They've got like a dance studio with a boxing um, bag, sorry. Yeah, not bad, is it? Oh, I found this. Squash ball. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but I can't find any lights in there. Hopefully you can see a bit. But this is a massive, a massive, proper, full-size squash ball. So you've got a full gymnasium as well. Again, this is five quid extra. Um, I suppose it's not too bad, but I mean, really, this should be included in your, your rate. And then there's a pool and jacuzzi. Quite a big thing. Look at this repair they've done at Floria. It's not even tried to match it. <laughs> Dadded that on top, looks absolutely awful. And then I've been for a shower. Whole place just feels dirty. Um, look around here, look at all this black and mold here. Oh my god, all the way along there. Why don't they not just clean that off? A quick wipe, not come off. Um, I mean, they've got squeegee here. So I think what's happening here is just everything's being bodged. But that repair there is shocking, look at the state of that. Shoot, polish, I've not seen one of them for years. Just seen this window look at stuff like that. 
So we've just wedged a towel into it. What? Oh my god. So there's a piece of wood holding it up. And that's literally a towel. Wow. Right then guys, so it's next morning now. Um and just before I begin, I had some food last night. Food here was really nice. Uh fourteen ninety five for a set menu. Um it's mainly an Indian restaurant, I'm trying to be something else. So they do Indian, Italian, Chinese. But really it's an Indian restaurant. Um but really, really good quality, decent food. So how did I sleep? Right, well, it's quiet here. So there's no issues there. And the temperature's sort of okay. I always sleep with a fan on anyway. But this is meant to be a zip and link bed. But they're not they're not linked together, so you literally end up just falling down the entire divide of this bed. So all night I've been in the middle of you. So yeah, I'm not a fan of these at all. Um right, shower. Well, it's gotta be up there with one of the worst I've had. I've left it running so I can show you. But look at the actual state of that. There's just nothing coming out of it at all. So I tilted it back so I can get a bit more, but that was even worse. So the only way you can do it is by doing it this way. There's <laughs> just no pressure at all. It is just absolutely crap. So I'd say that's worse than the Doric. So I was speaking last night to a local uh, and I was questioning if this used to be a Holiday Inn because staying in these hotels all the time I just kind of get a vibe from what they are. A Holiday Inn, a Best Western and a Hallmark Hotel. Pretty much everyone's had a go at this and couldn't make it work so now it's independent. Um, so although it looks great on first impressions it's really run down. Um, so yeah let me know what you guys think. Um, what I didn't like is that you have to pay a fiver extra to use the health club. So five quid extra on top of the money that you paid already. And when I went in there, it was disgusting, as you'll see in the video. So there was mould all over the uh, showers, just not being cleaned. Um, another uh, problem I encountered at this place is the majority of the staff are Indian. And they don't speak English, or they speak broken English. So when I'm trying to ask basic things, I just can't get through to them. I can't understand what they're trying to say. So, um, you know, they're nice and there's no issues there. They're all professional and try and help you. But ultimately, there's a language barrier. Um, so, yeah, that needed addressing. It's a lovely place, though, and it has got potential. But I think it needs a lot of money spending on it. Okay then, so I thought I'd pay extra today for breakfast, a bit peckish, and £14 extra. So £14 extra, that was up there with one of the worst ones I've had. Aldi yogurts for breakfast, not only did we have Aldi yogurts, there was a week out of date. So today's, the well it's more than a week, it's the 1st of November today, so there was the 24th of October. That is an absolute joke. So 14 quid, um, didn't even have real eggs to be honest, it was all um, scrambled eggs, but yeah, they had scotch eggs, I've never seen scotch eggs at breakfast, but scotch eggs and everything else, I think what needs to happen is just get the basics right, and then worry about the rest, like pastries, yeah, I certainly would not recommend the breakfast. so yeah right that's it for this one let me know in the comments below what you think would you stay here and do you think it's worth the money until the next one guys